Do you get any strange uh, requests from your male customers? Uh, yeah, we had this encounter where this male customer walk in straight away and say, I want a slutty piece. <laughs> That's quite funny. Although yeah. some guys know exactly what they want, Pamela says that most guys going for lingerie shopping are often on the shy side. So here's a quick five-step guide for all you guys out there on how to make your lingerie shopping experience as fun and easy as possible. Number one, do your homework. Find out what size she is. Be careful when you are when she's in between. Always pick the smaller size as it's more flattering. Step two, pick the right color. Find out what's her favorite color. Pay attention to the types of colors she usually wears. If she's on the tan side, bronze colors, cream and black will flatter her skin tone. If she's on the fairer side, colors like midnight blue, teal and purple will have a great contrast to her skin color. This will be like a cami camisole top with a pair of uh, shorts. Camisoles hug onto the waistline and will look great on women with toned flat tummies. Whereas baby doll tops flare out from under the bust and helps to hide those tummy fats. Same goes for the one-piece outfits. An A-line straight cut like this looks great on toned women who want to show off their hot bod. But a baby doll dress flares out well and is also flattering for any body type. It also helps to downplay those big hips on larger women. This would be a baby doll. The trick is uh, to, to see the difference is baby doll usually will be flare out from under the bust onwards. Yeah. Step 4. Pick out the perfect cut. Yes, I can see you. Uh, understand where are her best assets. Will it be her long legs? Will it be her collarbone? Will it be her cleavage? I say she's got assets, you know, really nice assets. Yeah. <laughs> where, well, what would she wear to flaunt it? What kind of, uh, which, which cut suit her best? Okay, uh, baby dolls are actually good for assets, you know, the right. top assets. Uh, if she's not quite a baby doll person, things like this. There's very roomy here. Yeah, so it will fill it up. So these like uh, tops like these, you need to be a bit more careful. Yeah, if uh, she's not too heavy on the top, then it won't be so flattering. And if she's got nice collarbones, basically anything, right? Yeah, collarbones are is it's a very good asset. So you 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 basically look like a hanger, and you can look good in everything. So of course, then you want to enhance uh, certain parts by. Picking up pieces that will show off the collarbone and at the same time have a little detail behind. Yeah. Okay. And long legs, beautiful long legs. Oh, then I will recommend sets. Yeah. Sets with sexy shorts will be good. Yeah. Then you can show off the long, long legs. Step 5 pay attention to fabric. And last but not least, they must choose something that they like, right? Exactly. So fabric. What kind of fabrics do we have? Okay, we have uh, the common fabrics will be satin, satin and silk. Pretty similar if you like the, the uh, silky soft touch. Or you like mesh. It's mesh. equally as soft, but yes. uh, it's got a bit more texture to it. Yeah, it's, it's just quite different. They're all soft, it's just that uh, the feel is very different. Chiffon. Chiffon is the flowy fabric that makes her, the, the dress will just flow as she walks. We also have cotton. Cotton is uh, for comfort. And uh, nylon, nylon material. Yeah. So nylon material will, if she's very shapely and proportionate, nylon materials are good because you will take on her shape. These are the few. Of course, lace. <laughs> if you are a very lacy person, you like lace, you like to see a lot of lace, then you pick up pieces with lots of lace details